The Kuat NV 2.0 and the Thule T2 Pro XTR are some of the most commonly compared bike racks, and for good reason. They're both going to be really solid options in the premium category of bike racks. Sharing a ton of similarities between the two, it's going to be hard to decide between each one, and in a lot of ways, you really can't go wrong with either. But there are going to be some key differences between the two, and we're going to talk about those today, and I'm going to tell you which one I'd maybe prefer and give you my opinion on it, and we'll find out which is going to be the right fit for you. So right away, let's start with all the similarities. They're both going to be platform style bike racks holding the bike by the front tire, making this a good option for carbon frame bikes because we don't make frame contact, alternative frame bikes, and e-bikes with a 60 pound weight capacity per bike. They're both also going to work with fat tire bikes. We've got one loaded up on our Thule T2 Pro right now. And they're both going to work with kids bikes with a tire diameter of 20 inches at the minimum. Now one thing to note with that is that on the Kuat over here, it is going to need an adapter piece for those kids bikes and for the fat tire bikes. They are both included out of the box, you don't have to buy anything separately with it, but it's still going to be a separate piece to think about, whereas with the Thule, it's going to be working right out of the box. Both bike racks also have locks included with them, both in the hitch and on the rack itself for your bikes. The cable locks here are integrated, which is great because you don't have to worry about forgetting them. On the Thule, it's integrated into the front wheel hook here, so it's going to wrap around the front of your bike. and then coming over to the Kuat, it's gonna be located on the bottom of the tray at the back tire side. So that'll go and wrap through the back end of your bike. Now, both of these are gonna be relatively short, not really long enough in most cases to wrap through both the tire and the bike frame. So in our cases, I just opted for the bike frame exclusively. And one other difference is that the Kuat is noticeably thicker and noticeably smoother to operate. So the experience on that end, I think, is a lot more enjoyable. But if you like having that cable around the front end of your bike up a little bit higher where it's maybe easier to reach, then that might be for you. But personally, I like the Kuat better. Both racks are going to also work with your hatches by tilting away with the bikes loaded. Now these do it a little bit differently. The Kuat has a pedal in towards that front tray that you can pull, tilt the rack away, and gain access to the back of your vehicle. It has a pretty good tilt, so even on a larger lift gate like the 4Runner, we've got plenty of room. And on the Thule here, it also tilts, but uses a squeezing handle at the back end that we can use to lower the rack down. It has about the same amount of tilt, and still we can open up our back hatch with plenty of room to spare to get things out of the back if we need it without having to unload the bikes first, which is great. It's very convenient for both racks to do. Now I will say, I think the Kuat does a better job at lowering it down smoothly. I like the mechanism, I like the feel, and it just works well. But both racks have the option to add a two bike add-on and convert them to four bike racks down the line if your family expands or you decide that you start going with some friends and you carry everyone's bikes with you. In that case, I think the Thule is gonna be the easier one to operate. The reason I think the Thule is gonna perform better is because it relocates that handle to the new outer edge of the bike rack. So while both racks are gonna be noticeably heavier in a four bike configuration and really hard to tilt, the handle is gonna be at least reachable on the Thule. You're gonna to have to go down quite a ways with it and it's gonna be a pretty big pain with all that weight, but you can at least reach it. Whereas the Kuat handle, is gonna still be up by that first tray. And if you've got four bikes fully loaded on here, it's gonna be pretty much impossible to reach without an extra set of hands. So for me, I just wouldn't wanna do it. So if you have that four bike configuration or plan on expanding down the line, I'd go with the Thule. Now with both of these being platform style bike racks, holding the bike by the tire, they're very easy to load and unload because when they're all opened up, there's nothing in the center that you have to work around like a center mast. The process is pretty much the exact same. One thing that's different though is if you choose to, Kuat does offer a ramp attachment separately. So if you have trouble loading heavier e-bikes, you can get that attachment and ramp them up the side and load it up that way. So that can ease the loading and unloading process if you get that piece. You don't have to, and I think either way it's gonna work just fine, but the Thule doesn't have that option if you need it. Both racks are gonna also fold up against your vehicle for easy storage when you've got the bikes unloaded. So you can save a lot of space. 
If you're the type of person that leaves your bike rack in the hitch between rides, so it's always ready to go whenever you are, then this is great because they both save a ton of space and look pretty good on the back of the vehicle too. They're just gonna use that same handle and pedal to tilt it up as we did to fold it down. Both racks have sliding back cradles that can accommodate for different wheelbases. They'll just slide along some tracks along the length of the tray, which is great. But one thing to note is if you've got two very similar sized bikes, maybe two mountain bikes, you're going with a friend or a partner, then you're gonna maybe run into issues loading them because when you put two very similar sized bikes side by side, you might get handlebar and seat contact with each other. One way that the Thule fixes that is actually being able to slide the entire tray side to side on each of them, helping with bike to bike contact. Whereas on the Kuat here, it's pretty much fixed in place and we don't get any adjustment there. And that issue is only gonna be heightened if we have the four bike configurations of the two. As far as aesthetics and looks go, the Thule is going to be a black powder coated steel. Now I think the black look looks really nice, but that powder coat, if it does scratch away, means that the metal underneath is gonna be susceptible to rust and corrosion over time, just a little bit more, versus the aluminum construction of the Kuat Envy. That's going to make it much more weather resistant. And the other thing is you've got color options with this. So we've got the gray one right now that has orange accents, but you can also get it in black if that matches your vehicle or your style a bit better. Now, one thing to note though, is that even though the materials are aluminum and steel, you might think that the Kuat is lighter, but it's not. They both weigh 52 pounds, so they're gonna be about the same level of ease to work with getting in and out of your hitch or tilting it up and down. They're both gonna share a tool-free install too, which is great because it makes the setup process that much easier. All you gotta do is slide it into the hitch, add the pin through the hitch pin hole, and tighten down the hand knob on the bottom of each rack. That's going to tighten it up in the hitch and make sure that there's no shake or play. The hand knobs on both are just pretty much the same. Honestly, the Thule is a little bit harder to reach because it's recessed under here a bit, but I don't think that's a deal breaker by any means. And the Thule uses a stinger style pin, which just latches into the side, whereas the Kuat uses a more standard hitch pin with a locking base on the other side. And the final thing that makes these bike racks different is the kind of specialty feature that they have. On the T2 Pro, it's gonna be a set of wheels at the bottom here, which can be used to roll this around when it's out of the hitch, making it a little bit easier to get in your garage and to the vehicle. Now, honestly, with the two bike configuration, I think it's okay. It's a little hard to do if you're taller just because you have to reach down and it might be a little bit unruly, but if you've got the four bike version or plan on Upgrading to the four bike version, I think the wheels are a must. It makes it so much easier to transport because in the four bike configuration, it's about a hundred pounds and it's not fun to carry, but wheeling it around is much more manageable. And on the Kuat over here, it has an integrated bike repair stand. If we open up that lever on the front, lift this up and out, re-secure the lever, we can open up this clamp where we can drop our bike into place maybe do some last minute maintenance or repairs if we say get to the trail with our mountain bike or the park with our road bike and we notice maybe something's wrong with the chain then we can drop it in here to do some repairs this will hold it up maybe not the easiest to do on your own because you do have to lift it up a little bit but it is nice to have if you need it there we go once it's clamped in it's pretty solid it lets us do any work we might need to on the wheels, the chain, and it's just nice to have because rather than flipping the bike upside down, you can have it elevated and easier to reach. And with all that in mind, hopefully this helped give you a better idea of which one's gonna be the right fit for you. Like I said in the beginning though, honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with either option. They both hold the bike extremely well and work with a wide range of bikes. My personal pick though, if you're gonna go with just the two bike configuration, I like the Kuat Envy better. I think all the touch points operate just a little bit smoother and have a better feel to them. And we've seen them on our own employees' vehicles here just last a long time, years and years, and still operate just as smooth as the day you got it out of the box, which fills me with a lot of confidence if I want this for many years to come. Although, if I plan to expand to the four bike configuration, I think you really have to go with the T2 Pro XTR. The wheels in the bottom make it a lot easier to transport 
and the fact that the handle is easy to reach means I can tilt it away on my own. As long as I can handle the weight of the bikes, then I'm good. I can actually reach that handle to tilt it and fold it, and it just makes it easier to use. So depending on what you need, you might find that one works better than the other, but those would be my own preferences. And this has just been our look comparing the Kuat NV2.0 and the Thule T2 Pro XTR. Thanks for watching.